is the best I can do for one of those guys. talking this morning with somebody about which ones I play. I have one of the very first five strings, which I still play a lot, but I also like the 25th anniversary model, which gives me some other options. It has the same sound, plus it has more, which is pretty darn great. I have a fretless I didn't bring that I, and the, the odd occasion that I'm asked to play melody in, on a fretless bass, mainly my own albums, because I'm the only one who will hire myself to do that particular thing. <laughs> So I, I have it with a high, the reason I couldn't just pick the one up here and play a piece, I have it with a high C string. Not because I want to play higher, but because for me, when I'm playing melodically, I don't love the sound of the way any bass sounds up here. I just don't. So by, by having it a fourth higher, I can be playing here and have those notes and they just kind of sound better to me. And that's, that's the kind of world I live in with kind of, little subtle things about the sound that I'm always, always, after all of these years playing bass, always just trying to get a little cooler sound or a little different thing going on. This young bass player, who was pretty good, I saw him playing before, I didn't hear him, but I saw him. Asked if I'd taken any lessons before. I did. I think every musician I know has had a different trajectory into music to get where they are. Some very good players I know and never had lessons. Some guys had very good lessons, some had haphazard lessons. I actually grew up playing classical music, so I'm extremely uh, thoroughly trained in reading music and stuff like that. I can't honestly say that it helps me with my daily music stuff. It certainly never hurts. And if I'm given music to read, it helps really a lot. But I think really what I got from that classical training was more a way of thinking of music, of the quality of music being very important you could have figured it out without studying classical music, but classical people are really insane about the great music is great and must be performed to perfection every time. And in a way, that was a good thing to carry over into rock. I'm more comfortable in rock, I'll tell you that, but I still do love classical music, but I had lots of lessons. I would say I studied, well, I studied till I was about 18, 19, and then I went to music college and started to play rock. I was, and I joined an orchestra there, but then I started to play rock and roll and jazz, and I never went back to the orchestra. So that was my little trajectory. You'll have your own, but I, lessons can't hurt you, can they, I think? 
you know. And if it's a bad teacher, dump them and find a better teacher. And you, interesting hearing from me, because one thing I've learned in my life I can't do and don't want to do is be a teacher. So I can appreciate how good teachers inspire you to keep going. They don't give you all the heavy stuff only and make you discouraged and like I'm no good. And they don't uh, lie to you, good teachers don't lie to you and tell you you're great. And they they kind of inspire you to work hard. So I was lucky to have that early in my career. And maybe you could find the same, so good teachers. Anyway, yeah. That's the cool thing after go, yeah. the weekend is about over. And what I've realized yet again is even though this is not my favorite thing to go to a base convention and to be to be in the kind of awkward position of being on stage like I'm the one who's supposed to know stuff, what I find is if I keep my mind open and really pay attention to what's going on, I learn a lot of stuff, not just from you, from hearing the other bass players, from Sterling, from hearing guys play both on this stage and others. And, and it's really been a nice feeling of, uh, there is something about it, you know, a bunch of bass players or bass interested folks getting together and that includes the manufacturers, guys in that room who, uh, just from Woodstock, there's three guys, Woodstock bass makers, who really devote their lives to the craft of making handmade basses. So there's something pretty special. For me, I have to get over the, the, the low end thumping that goes on all weekend. It makes me a little, makes my brain fatigued. But if I'm kind of on my game and can't go over that, this has been a very special weekend for me. I really learned a lot.